Everybody, this is a bonus episode of Hourglass Eyes, and I wanted to take an extra episode today with Adrian. We want to talk about a, a topic that we both enjoy. No joke, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, well, as you know, a few a few episodes ago, I spoke about my, uh, the top thirty anime that I enjoy watching, and I'm proud to say that Adrian has begun to enjoy anime as much as I do. And some I of the shows that he, anime. some of the shows that he watches are no some of the shows joke. that I like that I've introduced him to, and we're going to talk about why we like him so much. So the first first show we're going to talk about is Naruto. Naruto. And um, if you don't know about Naruto, it's a it's a story about uh, an orphan boy who lives in a ninja village, and um, he's got a. Uh, it's called the Hidden Leaf. Village. The Hidden Leaf Village, and he has a. Uh, spoiler alert! He has a a demon. The basically trapped in his in, trapped in his stomach. He in, he's inspired by. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's been trapped in his stomach. The, the the demon came out in the first episode was destroying the village, and his parents sacrificed their lives, but to to save the village. But in order to to, to cage the beast, they had to cage the beast in Naruto's body. So basically, he's uh, the rest of the village views him with um, distrust and displeasure, and they don't they, they don't enjoy being around his being around him because he's basically a, a dangerous uh, guy. A dangerous guy. And they think he's, they think they, they know he has the nine tail fox in his stomach, and they think he's gonna hurt them. But Naruto just wants to be accepted and loved, and um, that's kind of the reason I love I love the show. Adrian, why do you like the show so much? I like the show because um, it's funny. Same reason. Well, you gotta give him some reasons. You, you, you think it's funny, don't you? Mhm. And the the music is pretty good. Mhm. But the funniest thing, yeah. spoiler, the funniest thing he can do. It's these are moves that they have. Uh, they have this uh, thing that they can do. Like taijutsu. Taijutsu, and one of his taijutsu is uh, what was it called? Sexy something. Sexy jutsu. Sexy sexy jutsu. He, he he basically transforms into a a, a gorgeous girl, a gorgeous woman. And when if you look at it, you will bleed out of your nose. Yeah, it it causes the characters to be so um. Shocked by this transformation, that they uh, for some reason this, this, this is a Japanese thing that comes out in, in anime. They either shed a big tear or they blink or they bleed no bleed. They they, they have nosebleeds and, and it's just freaky. Mm-hmm. And they have these huge nosebleeds when when Naruto does this because they're they're so stupefied by his t- transformation that they comically start spewing blood from their nose. It's pretty funny. It's like a waterfall. Yeah. Yeah, so we've seen we've seen several movies of Naruto, and I like it. we've seen Clash of the Snow. We've seen um, Naruto Bonds. We've seen Naruto the Blood last. Prison. Naruto the, the last. last. Where he goes in his last form. I really want to see his second to last form. That's where he goes into the Nine Tail Fox itself. Yeah, he has lots of forms. I like the one where he's in Sage mode, where he uh, controls the the, the the giant frogs. That's the one where he fought. He also um, had a, an epic fight during the series where he fought uh, Pain. Who's Pain? Pain's the guy who killed his uh, his his his, his um, teacher, um, Pervy Sage. So he he avenges his teacher's death by defeating Pain, who was like at, th- at that point he, he had been built up so big, and he was so such a huge monster of a of a, of a character that it was that was, it was a very satisfying fight, and I I I really. Naruto beat him with his, uh, what was it? A clone Jutsu? Is it that what it's called? Clone Jutsu? Yeah, he, did, he, he, he beat him in Sage mode. Oh. And then he did the, uh. Shadow Clone Jutsu. Shadow Clone Jutsu. No, he, he didn't do that. He did the, um. The ball. He did. He did the Shadow Clone Jutsu, then the Sexy Clone Jutsu, and then he got bleeding out of his nose. <laughs> I know he did that once. Oh, he did that to Sasuke. Sasuke. We also like the interplay between the, the, the shows about it's a team of three three characters, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, and they're um they they go on these quests, and um during the, the during the first uh, 
series Naruto, Sasuke betrays the, the group and goes off on his own to avenge his family's death, murder by his older brother. And um, he Naruto doesn't want him to leave, so they have this epic fight, and Sasuke beats him, and basically the show ends there, and then it starts again with Naruto Shippuden. And um, it goes on from there for like several hundred episodes. He hasn't seen most. He hasn't seen those. He's seen mostly the movies, but he enjoys the the ones that he has seen, right, Adrian? Mhm. And uh, he he enjoys watching the show. We we especially like watching the movies. Like I said before, the movies are great, and uh, you can find some of them on Netflix or uh, the second one in Dragon Ball Z. Or, or other 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 um like other Cody. sources. Like Cody. Adrian can't wait to talk about Dragon Ball Z. So let's get to Dragon Ball Z. It's the story of Goku, Gohan, and the rest of the characters and their um, and his. missions and fights with um, multi-powered, multi-powered, omni-powered creatures from uh, outer space. And if you don't know this, well, you you gotta know this if you know Doku. If you know Doku, then you know Superman, which and which they fight. Yeah, there, there's a there's a YouTube video where some um, people say there's a death battle between Superman and Goku. Well, Superman actually beat him. Yeah, Superman beat him because they, 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 what they said in the what they said in the in the in the in the podcast was that it wasn't a podcast. Well, it was a YouTube cast. It was a, what they said in the YouTube cast was that uh, he has infinite power. He has infinite power. He hasn't tapped the the extent of his full powers yet. He, he basically holds back. And when he starts getting beat up by Goku, and he just decides to not hold back any longer and just go all out against Goku, and Goku can't 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 match him in speed or or, or strength, and basically gets defeated, decimated to 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 the least. And but some people say that Goku can actually beat a Superman because of how much power he actually has. That's true. I mean, now now he's in God mode. And uh, who knows how, how powerful he is? How how much more powerful well, he could be? This is when he went God mode and Superman still won. Yeah. But what about they didn't do a Super Saiyan Black? That's true. There's only so it's, so, it's only different him. levels now. It's he ridiculous. Him. Like why don't they make another one where he had to go Super Saiyan Black and then they fight? Because I don't know. Just going back to the Super Saiyan God isn't that isn't it isn't that. Powerful. It isn't that powerful. It's crazy power. Yeah, but it isn't that powerful as Super Saiyan Black. I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't know. Enough to talk about Super Saiyan Black. I don't. I haven't seen those episodes yet to know what how to, what to, how to describe them. But what I have seen is the first series um, through the last, where he fights several different enemies. The first the enemy last? being the first enemy being Piccolo. Oh, and you it, said the last. Through the last episode. He fights episodes to the last to the last bad guy. He fights Piccolo. Then he goes from Piccolo, he fights Vegeta. But that's a good fight, I could just tell. Yeah, it was a good fight. From Vegeta he went to uh Frieza. From Frieza he went to Cell. And the last bad guy was Boo. Who was uh Unbeatable. I, unbeatable. I have to admit, I, I uh stopped watching after Cell. I didn't get to the Boo episodes of the series. Because at that point, I basically burnt out on, on these fights. The fights would last for like... 15, 14 episodes. 30 episodes. It seemed like forever. And when you got to like the, 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 the 15th level of the, of the episode, 15th episode of the fight, then the character would say, I've only, I've only, I've only reached 10% of my power. I still have 90% left to fight you. And you're like, what? I've been watching this show for 15 episodes and you've only used 10% of your power? That's nuts. Oh my so, goodness. It just it just got very frustrating, but it's a good show, <laughs> notwithstanding that 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 critique. And the movies are really good. Which movies do you think we we've seen that you like the best, Adrian? Well, a one that I really like is when he fights Frieza. Mm. When Frieza comes back, that, that was um a new one that came back recently, where um he him and Vegeta had reached the uh, Super Saiyan God level. And um, for all you Vegeta fans out there. Spoiler alert, Vegeta comes out looking super strong in this movie, uh, as opposed to, as, as he usually is uh, portrayed, uh, getting beat up until Goku comes and saves his day. So I really appreciated the fact that v- v- Vegeta looked good in this movie, because Vegeta's a cool character. And, spoil alert, uh, he actually killed uh, 
uh, Vegeta and the whole entire world. Well, and... Vegeta killed uh, Frieza. No. Yeah. Remember the first time? Yeah, he killed Frieza. And, and, and he, Frieza... Um, he beat him up. He, didn't he beat him up. He didn't kill him. He was about to kill him. And then Frieza used his, uh, some, some magic power or some, he did one last attack where he basically attacked the earth and blew it all up. Mm-hmm. And him with it, and the only one was it with Doku and his friend. Right, Goku and his friends were in a, in a uh, little bubble, and they were able to go back in time for a few seconds, uh, 11 seconds actually, and stop. No, no, a minute. It was like five minutes. It was like five minutes? I thought it was like a few seconds. No, it was five minutes. All right. He goes back. He goes back, and he basically stops. Um, Vegeta. Vegeta. I mean, not Vegeta. He uh, stops. He stops. He he, he, he stops, stops Vegeta from killing, about to kill Frieza, and, and stops Frieza. And he had he had he had to kill Frieza himself. What I thought was really funny was that Frieza in this in this show in the beginning of the of the movie is shown as the, he's like a like a like a, a seed hanging from a tree. And I thought I thought that little. Uh, Chair, hovering, hovering chair was a baby, a baby. Yeah, well, in, in the beginning of the movie, they show Frieza, and, and he appears to be in what Dragon Ball's version of Hell, and he's he's being he, he he's uh, basically entombed in a, in a shell or a seed on a tree, and it, these magical creatures are singing happy music, you know, these little teddy bears and bunnies, and it's driving Frieza crazy, and that's that's that's, that's what he's gonna be for the. For for per, 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 perpetuity for life, so that's a fitting a fitting death, and a fitting ending for Frieza. And I, I highly I highly uh, suggest you watch that movie. It's called Dragon Ball Z Resurrection. It's a it's a movie. It's a, it's on uh, Amazon or Netflix. I think it's on Netflix. You can check it out there. And, and he can beat Superman. Yeah, and he just still believes he can beat Superman, but uh, I think the the evidence points to otherwise. But well, we'll agree to disagree. Like I said, like I said before. Anyway, this is our bonus episode. We just wanted to take one, 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 one more episode for the week. And uh, if you enjoy our content, like and subscribe on YouTube and post some comments. Let us know what you think about uh, our two favorite shows, Dragon Ball Z and, and Naruto. Naruto. And uh, we'll go from there. Next, I'll talk to you next week. Say bye, Adrian. Bye. Oh, wait. <laughs>